I've actually waited quite a while to start this process on the lawn. It's been a really hot summer here in Utah. We had a week or so where it was over 100 degrees and weren't getting much rain, so I waited until September 1st to, to get going on the major stuff with the lawn. You can see my dogs, they, they've made quite a few uh, paths in the lawn and uh, quite a few bare spots have developed. So I'm just going around picking up all the weeds and uh, I'm going to be kind of doing a whole process to get um, all these spots back to normal and later in the video you'll see um, methods I use to kind of keep the dogs off these spots so that they can fill in and uh, the lawn can be kind of a complete lawn again. So the soil in my backyard is really dense clay. So I rented this aerator to kind of break it up and let the uh, roots of the grass have a chance to get some water. I felt like with the, the patchy spots in my lawn, I would water it a lot, but uh, because the soil is so dense, the, the roots weren't getting it. So um, I decided to kind of go over the lawn and I even doubled back over some of the worst spots just to break it up as much as possible and then uh, in each each one of the worst spots in the lawn I added uh, some topsoil that this stuff it looks kind of clumpy but it really wasn't too bad it had some like organic uh, matter in it to give the new grass a little bit of nutrients I'm going to be uh, putting new seed in each one of the the bad spots in the yard and then I'll be going over the entire yard uh, overseeding it. So here I'm just spreading it out. If you don't have a landscaping rake like this, it's uh, so much uh, better than your standard claw rake. Um, you can really get things nice and smooth. And earlier this year I actually did a leveling project in my front yard just to get the, the front as level and uh, smooth as possible. So here I'm just tossing it out. I didn't use any spreader or anything for this seed. Um, and you'll see later in the video that it, uh, it grew in pretty well. When you're planting new grass, you really want to make sure you have good seed to soil contact. You need, you don't really need to cover up the seed, but you need it kind of embedded, um, in the soil for its best chance to grow and then obviously you want to keep the the whole area moist um, it's easy when you've got uh, an irrigation system um, you can just set it to go three or four times a day for kind of shorter periods um, during this whole process we actually had a really bad uh, windstorm that blew over a bunch of trees and uh, it I was without power for about four days, so I wasn't able to use my sprinkler, so I was kind of sanding out with the hose and it um, didn't get quite as good a watering as it uh, should have. But here I'm just going over each spot. You can see me throwing a little bit of peat moss on top to kind of keep it moist. I ended up going uh, back to the store and getting a big brick of the peat moss because I wasn't really putting a, enough down, so um, I didn't get any of that on camera, but I went back over the whole thing. So here I'm just overseeding the whole lawn with um, grass seed and uh, this stuff is mostly uh, Kentucky bluegrass but I think there's a little bit of uh, ryegrass in there with it. To keep the dogs off the worst spots of the lawn, I had some leftover fencing. It's kind of like the chicken wire fencing. You can see it's around my uh, raspberries bushes. and. Uh, 
Anyway, I just kind of made circles with it or just laid it out over the spots I didn't want the dogs to run on just so the new grass could um, have somewhat of a chance. And you'll see later in the video that it actually worked really well. Um, and then of course I had to keep everything watered. Um, I had each zone set for about 10 minutes and then I ran it four times a day and I would just periodically check to make sure it was still moist. So you can see there was a pretty big change in the lawn. I was pretty impressed even with the, the spots I wasn't worried about, the, the whole lawn kind of thickened up quite a bit. Um, if you look over, there's obviously it's not perfect, but there's uh, the major spots filled in quite a bit and you can see that uh, the new grass, there's some weeds growing in there, but uh, the new grass is coming in pretty strong. This is pretty much all new right here. And after I took this video, I put the the fencing back up over it. I still don't want the dogs on it too much, but um, with each passing week it'll get stronger and stronger and I'll let the dogs uh, run on it. So you can see a pretty dramatic uh, difference. I didn't get it on camera, but I also put on some fertilizer to the lawn. I used the, I think it's the Scott's um, New Grass Starter and uh, it seemed to work pretty well. I also used the Revive product. I used the granules and the spray. I did that about two weeks before I got any of this, uh, before I started the project, and I didn't really notice the pea spots or any of the bare spots doing much better with the Revive, but the other grass um, that was doing good, I think really liked the Revive stuff, so. Um, it may have been that the weather was just too hot for the Revive to do anything to those bare spots. Um, so a lot of this transformation is due to um, the cooler weather and keeping the dogs just off the bad spots. I think the aeration and the fertilizer and stuff helped too. Um, and I don't think those bare spots would have filled in um, had I not done the, the planting the seed. So you can see the dogs go pretty hard on the lawn and the lawn has to put up with quite a bit. Um, in contrast, my front yard, um, I don't have any footage of it, but it's like pristine compared to this uh, backyard. So the dogs uh, make a huge difference. If you're thinking about um, getting dogs, just, just realize that your lawn's not gonna be perfect and it's really not that big a deal. So um, if you haven't watched my channel before, I do a lot of videos on my Dutch Shepherd uh, dogs, Jackson Cinder. They, uh, they've been great dogs for me, and so if you want to learn about the breed, feel free to check out the other videos. But if you got anything out of this video, um, like and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave them in the, in the section below. And just know that if you have any other questions about lawn care, there's a ton of videos on YouTube that go into way better uh, detail than I have on um, how to restore your lawn or any other lawn issues. So thanks for watching the video. Jaxi, come here. Good boy. There's a good dude. Come here. What are you doing? Hey. Jaxi. Drop it. Drop it. Out.